just get a bye week to kind of deep dive in the <laughs> defense. How, I guess, how satisfied were you with the first seven games? Uh, there was a lot of a lot of really good stuff. The the thing that I liked was, you know, the, a lot of guys played. We had a lot of freshmen play, some walk on guys play, um, in meaningful minutes. You know, against good teams, against UCLA, against Utah. Um, so that was good to see them come in and execute. Um, disappointing to see the you know the run defense the last two weeks. Um, so hopefully we've been beat up, but hopefully we're we're fresher and we go out there and play the way we're capable of playing. How close do you feel like you are at defending the pass the way you'd like to? Uh, I think we're close. You know, it's just the one they've done a nice job, but then it's just it's this new group every week is what the so just kind of everyone learning how to play with each other. So uh, I think that's a, that's a big part of any any cohesive unit. You got to have reps together and time together, and, and we kind of had a different lineup every week. So, yeah. but they're building those that experience with each other. So I think it's going to continue to get better. In in regards to the run defense, mm-hmm. Jonathan said part of the problem was guys were jumping out of their gaps. And the attack one wasn't wasn't great. Mm-hmm. Is that was your kind of assessment too? Why are why I guess why the guys jump out of their gaps? Is it- I, a, a lot of times that comes from trying to do too much. Um, and not just doing your job, and then when the ball presents with, through your job, you make the play. So that's what a lot of it was, especially in, in, in games where things aren't going necessarily our way. It's, guys have a tendency sometimes to try to make too many plays instead of just doing their work, and so that's a big part of it, and that was a big part of it. So getting that cleaned up, hey, you do your work, you're going to make your plays for the game, and then once the ball leaves your work, then that's the time to disengage, go get the football. There was a... Not an emphasis on putting the quarterback on the ground this season, but more, I guess, more, I guess, more of a thought of doing that. Have you felt like that's been? Yeah, I felt we've, good, I felt good. we've hit the quarterback a lot. Um, they, they felt us in, in our games. Um, you know, we, we've gotten to him. We've been around him, even when you know we've been productive in sacks, probably more than we have even a year ago. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with that. But yeah, I think the quarterback's taken a beating when we play him, and we want to continue that trend. Do you feel like is there any style of quarterback you haven't seen that you might see the, down yeah. the stretch that yeah. you would know that so you're kind of ready for just about anything down the stretch here? Yeah, we we've seen nothing but really athletic quarterbacks, and uh, you know we, we've seen some good guys that can still throw the ball from the pocket, and we face one every day. So we're we're pretty ready for any quarterback that comes. Yeah. What it, for the tackling? Is it is it angles? Is it is it technique? Once they make contact, what what have you seen mostly there? Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of it was strike zone. You know, when do I go low? When do I go high? Um, what's and that that has a lot to do with angle. And so that was really a focus during the bye week of cleaning up my decision making when I strike and, and when it's time to go low through their legs and when it's time to, to go through them and knock them back. So I think that was that was probably our most consistent issue. So that that's a very easy cleanup, but it takes discipline to do that. So that's what we're looking for. Does Arizona change up their offense that much between the two quarterbacks? No, no, they're they're both really good players. They're both really athletic. Um, they're yeah, they're, they have a system. They run it. and They got two good guys to run it. So whichever one's in, it really doesn't matter. They're both good players. We got to play really well. Can you do any live tackling this time of year in practice, or is that is that pretty much? No, that's that's that goes away pretty early in fall camp. Early, yeah. Uh, so yeah, and so you really got to focus on it, and that's the detail and discipline of practice. Focusing on your angles in pursuit, you know, that decision making when you're going in to, to just tag off. You know, you got to constantly think about that yeah. stuff as a player. Um, Alton Julian got a little bit of time at inside linebacker. Mm-hmm. Um, is that something you can see happening more frequently down the stretch here, just given the depth of that position, or is, uh, is we'll, he, can he fit there? Or? We'll see. I mean, there, there's a, you know, he's new, so he's just learning the position. He's light. Um, there, there's offenses where he can he can help give something to us. There, there's offenses where if it's more of a downhill run game, you don't want a 200-pound linebacker in there. Right. So it, it'll kind of depend on who we're playing and, and what goes on the rest of the year. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Thanks, Coach. Take care.